carnivore reset challenge my name is Raina I'm a registered nurse homeschooling mom of two and a Tennessee real estate agent as well and <clears throat> I didn't vlog yesterday uh, I wasn't feeling well I'm sure I got some bug that my kids passed on to me um, to be honest I don't feel like super great today but definitely better than yesterday my throat's just hurting a little bit and it's a little bit dry so that's why my, vo my voice sounds a little bit different. Um, so day seven in the books, completed, and I feel so good about it. So all of the details of uh, this challenge are down below. The first week was very strict beef, butter, bacon, eggs, water, coffee, electrolytes. That's it. No seasonings, um, no spices, no condiments, nothing. The only seasoning I've been using is salt and that it's an electrolyte, so it doesn't count. Um, so yeah, no seasoning, no spices, no condiments. And I'm a condiment girl. Like I love my sauce. I love my hot sauce and my spices and all of that. So I'm really looking forward to tomorrow because I get to add a splash of cream in my coffee. Like, woo, that's the biggest thing. I just, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And then the hot sauce because I decided to do that instead of anything else because the hot sauce, I can drench my eggs in hot sauce, my favorite hot sauce. It's a zero carb sauce. You guys will see it tomorrow. And I'm so excited. I almost want to have that for breakfast. Like just, I cook a bunch of hard boiled eggs, cut them up, chop them up, and then like drench it because that brings me back to my childhood. Like I used to eat that when I was little. And I was like, oh, I couldn't, I can't eat more than two or three eggs because that's too much cholesterol, too much fat. And now I'm like, what an idiot. <laughs> I should have eaten more eggs. Uh, anyway, I'm really excited about that. Um, a couple of things I want to talk to you guys about. So one is um, when I thought of this challenge, I knew I wanted to do it sooner rather than later. And I'm glad I chose November. However. One thing I did not really think about or plan around was Thanksgiving. And I was, in my mind, I was thinking, oh, it falls on the 29th. It's fine. I'll do 28 days. It's, it's fine. Uh, like four, four weeks. Um, it falls on the 28th, um, I believe, this year. So that's going to be a problem because on Thanksgiving... I am very much going to have some sugar-free keto wine. I just found out about it. I can leave a link down below if you want to get some. Um, it's a it's a link that'll get you like free um, a free set of mugs or uh, wine glasses, and it gets me like a little discount on my next order. Um, I think it's Grazzi. The, the company and I'm really excited to try it. I haven't tried it yet though. So, you know, can't really like review it. Um, and I don't plan on reviewing it obviously until I try it on Thanksgiving, but it, it has great reviews and the sugar-free low carb, like you can see on the nutrition facts, the ingredients and the nutrition facts and seems very clean to me for like a special occasion type of thing. Thanksgiving is one of those things. So that said, um, this challenge will have to be cut short by one day. So I'm going to go through day 27 and then day 28. I'm going to have some wine. Family's going to bring over stuff. I'm going to make um, my keto chili, which I make with like ground beef. Sometimes I add uh, like chuck roast, bacon, um, onions, 
tomatoes. So definitely, you know, lots of things that I can't have in this challenge. So just wanted to let you guys know that it will be cut short by a day. Uh, I don't know if I will do a Thanksgiving vlog. I don't know. Let me guys, let me, let me know in the comments, you guys, what you want to see from this channel. Um, also like topics that you want me to talk about because obviously this challenge, I'm going to, you know, continue to talk about what I eat and how it makes me feel and the results. Um, you're gonna, I'm going to make a video strictly about the results of this challenge for me because I did take some measurements. I took not only my weight, but I took my, um, my waist circumference. Uh, I think that was it. Oh, and I took um, a video of a before video of my skin on my, my face because it had gotten really bad, really, really bad. Um, it was super inflamed, just the, the sugar, even though it was in small doses, it still, it still did some damage. And so my face is, it's still not a hundred percent better. I still have acne spots and I don't know if they'll ever go away uh, completely. But seven days of triple B and E has has made a, a huge difference. Um, so anyway, and I will be keeping dairy out throughout this challenge, except for a little splash of heavy cream in my coffee. Uh, so yeah, so stay tuned through this challenge, through the results. Please comment down below. I know some of you guys are doing your own challenge or kind of following this along with this one. Um, let me know how it's going for you. I love hearing from you guys. I'm sorry if I'm not able to get to everyone's comments right away, but I try to, you know, have time to edit these vlogs every day, edit them a little bit so that they're kind of enjoyable for you guys, um, and also comment and all of that, that I do everything, you know, that I do at home. So, and let me know also like, again, what you guys want me to touch on in these videos, like things you want me to talk about. Um, I saw a comment come through about um, electrolytes and that kind of stuff. So as they come through, I will like answer them in, um, in other videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you tomorrow. Please don't let me down.